Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. This is kind of a bonus video today. Normally I don't do videos that where the viewer might have to buy a lot of additional things. But I made these flowers from Mamagami paper using the techniques in the last three videos two videos i guess the clips the button clips and the momagami paper kneading technique and i thought they were so pretty that there might be some people who want to know how i did it so i thought i would quickly just assemble, explain and assemble some. They're very pretty. They're not attached to this tag. Um, I think this, this is a very sellable craft in my humble opinion. So I think I might do that myself and turn some of these into pins and um, pins or, and or embellishments and sell them in my hopefully soon upcoming boutique. Okay, so this is the bonus video. So I'm just going to um, assemble today and explain what I did. But the next video is going to be for the average person and that's going to be momagami flowers and charms using oh dear did that come off yes it did using um magazines very organic, very pretty, and anyone can do it with materials they have readily available. So, let me just get a tag here and pop these up here so you can see them. more clearly. <clears throat> so that's tomorrow's <clears throat> or next video. Not sure what day it will be. Okay. So I have everything. <clears throat> Sorry. I've had a cold this week. I have everything ready to assemble. What I did, I got two separate dies in two separate sets. They're nested dies 
One's a circle and one's this scallop type circle. And the other one is just a scallop circle. And I nested them according to size. I have my Momogami papers and I just arranged them in what order I wanted them. And then I cut out my shapes in order. And then I have my um, but mini button clip pre-assembled. So, and the only thing that's not Momogami is a doily die cut that I shaped a little bit. So I, of course, when you run it through the die cut, you're going to lose your some of your texture. So I wrinkled them back up. And then it was just a matter of placing a glue dot. in the center lining up the flowers just get something here Press that a little bit. Just let me get my stylus here. I'm going to press that slightly because you really can't. You can't shape these like a paper flower and it's not really centered. Do that again. Once they become momogami, you really can't shape them like a paper flower because they're more like fabric, but I still want them to have some dimension. Um, there's my flower. And I want to get this and make sure I follow the same. Then my this came third. The doily came third just because that's where it fit. So I think this is something could be wrong, <laughs> but I think this is something that would be very sellable. So that's why I wanted to share it. I could imagine these being brooches, pins. Tuck them in an Easter hat. I could see, I could imagine the um, packaging and everything for these. So that's why I'm sharing on a cute little tag. They could even be a cute little, a very sellable tag for like a wedding gift or something. They could even be a 
go on a little note card. Now I personally think When you want to sell something, you have to create value for the customer, meaning that it's either either they don't want to take the time or they don't want to incur the expense. And these do take time mostly kneading the paper and then cutting out each individual piece so there that's assembled and for this mini button clip well it's not a clip I did use um, foam tape dimensional if I had it, if I had the little circles, I would use that. But I'm just gonna take this cut off the corners. Be a little shorter. Just a second. Even though that's tape, I am going to apply glue to this little topper. And I shape this the same way as the button clips. Okay, just going to put that aside to dry, and that's not totally centered, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, pay close attention to that because that, when they're not flat, it is a little more difficult to get everything perfectly centered. But that's what I did. And for those who want something to sell or um, I'm sure the craft fair people will tell me if I'm wrong, but I personally think things like this are sellable. Because as I said, you're, yeah, that's definitely off, but it's okay. When you're selling something, I think you have to create the value.
for the customer. So I'm, I personally am thinking of turning these into brooches or pins, as well as embellishments. And um, I just have to um, resource and try to figure out what I'm going to do to the back to attach a pin. Probably felt, but they're very soft. I mean, they don't, the time is in the mamagami. That's the real time. The die cutting isn't that difficult. And nothing else is really that difficult. Except for kneading the paper. So I hope you'll be back for the next video because it's going to be for everyone and making these cute little mamagami charms. Okay, have a great day everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.